Yo, what's up everyone? It's Daikenstein here, bringing you another Melty Blood video. And today we're gonna be talking about reverse beats. Now, I told you guys I wanted to make a dedicated video on this topic just because of how intensive and how important this mechanic is to actually Melty Blood. So we're gonna be going over everything you need to know pretty much about this mechanic. So let's go and get started. So reverse beat. Now we know it's gonna be inside Melty Blood type Luna. We don't know all the extensive of how they're gonna put every mechanic inside of Melty Blood type Luna. We won't know if everything is gonna be in there as far as everything that I'm gonna tell you, but I'm just gonna let you know everything that is within this game that may be within Melty Blood type Luma. So this is basically a continuation of my other video that I made that was pretty much talking about things you need to know if you're playing classic Melty Blood, getting ready for type Luna. So first beat is going to be a mechanic that allows you to change the strength of your buttons from the heaviest attack all the way to your lightest attack. So you go from heavy, heavy to medium or heavy to light rather than having to go in the change the sequence of light, medium to heavy. So we all know that and then medium could go into heavy. But of course, with the actual reverse beats you could go into your c normals and go into a or you could go into c normals and go into b now this game tells you when you're reverse beating on the bottom left of the screen you can see that it's saying reverse beat and this allows you to do different things now what is reverse beat actually good for reverse beat allows you to actually change the way you actually do your pressure so you can go for pressure resets like this and it allows you to make your pressure a little bit more ambiguous because your opponent doesn't know when you're going to actually do this within your pressure. Uh, mainly when people block inside of anime games, they mostly block crouching and then revert to standing when they think there's an overhead or something like that. So because of this, a lot of characters 5As are usually really good at initializing this because it like usually goes over people's heads. So you could do this anytime. I could do this during my 2A, 5A, 2B. I could do this during my 5B, um, 5C. So it's all your pretty much all your buttons you can pretty much utilize this into like the 5a now there's a couple of exceptions uh that's why i have aki on the screen because she has a standing low so we're going to talk about the different properties of how to use hers a little bit different later in the video so why is reverse beat so scary within melty blood not only does it allow you to cancel into a, another normal a fast recovering normal such as your a normal but the one thing about a normals in particular inside of melty blood at least in this version now we know there's going to be one version of this in melty blood type lumina and that is the ability to with special cancel your normal so a normals can be with special cancel as you can see i am able to with cancel this into a special move now in this melty blood i don't know if it's in melty blood type lumina because i haven't seen it but we have seen with buttons into special moves in that game this game allows you to do with a normals into other buttons so as you can see i can whiff my a normals into my other normals so this is why this is so scared because this allows you to get your other buttons back as you know in fighting games once you use your buttons you can't go back into that button as such but when you do a reverse beat all of a sudden you get those buttons back so not only are you able to whiff cancel into the next button that you want you have all your other buttons back and that's why it's so scary because not only do they not know when you're going to do the whiff cancel but you're also whiff canceling the normal into another normal and that's very scary to try to mash out like if they're going to like beat this option they have to know exactly when you're going to do it or just take a chance and mash accordingly and for help you understand the pushback when it comes to actual reverse beats i just want to tell you that you can actually do this inside the air as well you can reverse beat your normals in the air which is also going to help you with your pressure game as far as like making sure your opponent gets down to the ground in the way that you want them to now when you're doing reverse beats inside of melty blood you're going to notice that you're going to get pushed out based on like the strength of the button that you use so if i press anything like 5c into 5a for nadia look how far he actually get pushed out now this is something you normally wouldn't want to happen depending on what you're trying to do if you're trying if your objective is to hit the opponent with the next normal uh this isn't going to be something that's going to help you out so just taking a block string like something like this as you can see he get pushed out a little too far to where he can't get that but let's take that same block string and then put a delay from the 5C into the next button. And look how much closer he is. So as you can see, he's a lot closer than the other example if we do this. He's way further away when you do this. So if you do it right away, you actually make yourself get pushed back a little bit more. Rather than slightly delaying the whip cancel, you can stay in a little bit more. And that will help you get that normal that you want. So if I want to do something like this... That would be a lot easier so as you can see you stay in a little bit closer that way you can get the normals that you want so because we know now that we can negate the pushback this will also help us create block strings that weren't going to be possible before we actually knew that you can actually delay in order to keep yourself closer so take this string if i want to start it with this low 
So rather than starting with this mid, say if I want to start with his 2B, which is a low. If I do something like 2B, 5C, and I want to go into like 2A, it would be a little bit harder to do if I did it like this. But if you put that delay in there, now you can see you can stay closer and actually get this to work. So you can create block strings and frame traps that weren't going to be possible before because you added this delay and negated the pushback that comes along with reverse beating. So, so far, what we've been talking about is utility and pressure aspects of reverse beats, but we haven't actually talked about the combo potential with reverse beats. Let's show you this Akia combo to show you exactly what can be used as far as reverse beats. So as you see there, I was able to cancel my charge JC that she does into an A. This allows her to reset her recovery because A normals recover faster. And I was able to land before I land, do this special move right here. And that allowed me to pick up for an extra combo. So there's going to be things that people are probably going to find out within Melzy Bless type Lumina system because of the reverse beats. Basically, there's going to be probably combos that are going to utilize this system and be more optimal than the things we've probably been seeing inside the game thus far. So as people get their, more, uh, get their hands inside the system, expect to probably see some reverse beat combos that are probably going to be the optimal combos that characters want to go to when it comes to their actual confirms. Last thing about the combo part, there is some paration that happens when you do reverse beats, but it's nothing really too much you have to actually worry about. When people optimize the combos, usually the reverse beat combos are pretty much going to do more damage than the other combos anyway. So I thought Akia here would be the perfect example to show you exactly what would you do with a character that doesn't really whiff cancel their reverse beats, but still want to use their reverse beats. So this may, I don't know if we're going to have a character like this in Melty Blood type Luna, but I think there's a concept that's important for you guys to understand just in case we get a character like this or there is a character that's going to be like this within the game. So just talking about this. So understanding this concept first with Akia is that her 2L is going to be a plus button. So pretty much you want to keep this button open and you want to reverse beat into this button with Akia when you're playing this character. Now this is not really an Akia god, but this, this is pretty much under telling you the concept of like how this thing works. So her 5L is a low and she pretty much wants to go into this button whenever she wants to re-establish pressure now when the opponent understands that this is plus and they're scared to deal with this button you can let this button recover and then get your options back so something like this will be possible so you get the pretty much the idea so because she can let her button recover because they're scared of the plus frames that you can establish at any time because you could just delay into another button that you didn't use and of course obviously it's plus so you get a little bit more time to actually do that delay especially if it's a long cancel went on it they're a little bit more hesitant to press a button and you could get away with these sort of resets utilizing the plus frames on these normals such as this now the last concept for reverse beats i want to talk about is half charges now we talked about in melty blood type luna that characters have charge moves that you see that come on the screen when the character does something and the screens have like the circular like green thing that comes on the screen that lets you know that they're charging a button and these charges change the properties of some of the moves that characters do for example a charge in this game it flashes white rather than the green but as you can see right here this is normally just a mid but with a charge attack this becomes an overhead but within melty blood and i think it's going to be a melty blood type lumen as well so that's why i think it's important to talk about this you can do what is known as a half charge rather than charging it fully i can charge it slightly so people will intentionally stand up trying to block the overhead and then you go for a low with the reverse beat. So that could be a very scary situation for people to deal with. They're trying to react to the overhead because obviously this is a little bit reactable. You see how slow it is. They're trying to react. You have charge it. Go for a low. And then that's how you can open your opponents up if you have these special properties on some of your normals that change your things from overheads and lows and stuff like that. And I think that pretty much sums up the essentials you need to know about reverse beats inside of Melty Blood. Now, of course, this is probably going to be a tricky concept for people, especially if you do are new to these type of games. This could be something that's going to take a minute. So if you're playing the classic Melty Blood, getting ready for Melty Blood type Luma, definitely sit in the training room, practice this thing, and just try to understand the intricacies of it. Try to understand how it works, understand the pushback things and the other things that I was talking about, and just try to utilize it inside of you know some matches stuff like that see if you get used to this mechanic obviously if you're waiting for melty blood type lumina then when this game come out this is definitely something you're going to want to practice for sure along with what i was talking about in my other video talking about movement and other things if you haven't seen that video definitely watch that video about things you definitely want to practice for melty blood anyway that's it for this one if you like anything you had to say drop me a like i greatly appreciate it and if you want more from me follow me on my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications 
so you know next video goes live. As always, my name is Daikin, and I'll see you next time. Signing out.